Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. This spring and fall we're hosting a whole brand new series of workshops for teachers for math, science, English, and history. You should check out these workshops. We're going to be holding them in Massachusetts, in Florida, in New York, in California. Check them out. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. Today I'm going to do number 10 on the C-Best Math Practice Test in California. This is the elementary math practice test for teachers in California. It's a good one to review. Doesn't You don't need to be in Los Angeles or San Francisco. You could be in Boston or Miami or Texas or Dallas preparing for your teacher certification exam because it's a, a nice one that will review some of those core math concepts that are going to be on everyone's math exam. So let's... Uh, Let's look at number 10 here, and uh, I'm going to read this over, and as I read it over, I'm going to visualize it to help me solve it. But first, I'll start with reading it. Lillian has a bag of marbles. The bag contains 18 black, 15 red, 11 blue, and 8 white marbles. Lillian randomly takes a red marble from the bag and leaves the marble on a table. What is the probability that she will next take a red or white marble from the bag. Now you read it over. Pause me, read it over. Unpause me. I want you to, as you read it over, hopefully you, you saw the word probability stick out. And also whenever you see randomly, that's a clue that you're dealing with a probability as well. There's a lot here, so I'm going to take the information and I'm going to work with it line by line. Starting with the first one, the description of how many marbles there are. And this, this image of a, of a bag, notice how this image of a bag appearing one, two, three, uh, four, four times. So that's, that's one of our central images, the bags and the marbles. So let's, let's get that, let's imagine what that would look like, right? What is that, what would that actually look like? And I'm, I'll draw that picture real quick. Here's my bag here. That's a bag. And in that bag, I got, I don't know, I got eight, 18 black and I can do, that's just terrible. I'm, I'm just going to use a, I'm just going to use a cup, a bowl. Bowls are easier than bags. I got 18 black and, you know, I got uh, 11 blue and I got 15, 15 red and I have eight white marbles say that. Then it says Lillian takes one of the red. Now this is important. She takes one of the red and she takes it out of the bag, reaches into the bag, takes it and removes it. Leaves it on the table somewhere. So that means that there technically there's no longer 15 marbles there. There's really uh, 14 marbles at this point. And then it asks what is the probability that it's going to be either red or white? And when it says when it's it's going to be you know, it doesn't say either or, but it says, what is the probability that the next marble is going to be red or white? Whenever it has that or, that means it's going to be simple probability, meaning we find the probability of the red marbles, and we add that to the probability of the white marbles. Well, when, we, when you think about probability, you look at what is the, what, how many different separate events could happen, meaning how many marbles are actually in that container. If we added these up, let's say I kept, I, I didn't take out the 14, I just left it at 15. We'd find out that in the beginning, at the start of this process, uh, 18 plus 11 gets you what? 18 plus 11 is 29. 15 plus, 15 plus 8 is 23. And if I did it this way, at the very beginning, there's 52 marbles. So if we're thinking about probability in terms of part to whole, and we want to think about all the marbles, 100%, 100% of the marbles would be 52 out of 52, right? Wouldn't that represent 100% of all the marbles that are in this, uh, in this jar? So 52 over 52 is equal to 1 over 1, or 1 whole, 0 0.1, or 1 whole, or 100%, right? Well, well, with that idea, we work with percents in the same way. We think about percents in terms of what is the likelihood of event 
out of all the events that are possible. If we had if we didn't take out that extra, that one marble, we would have had a whole of 52. And it would have been very tempting to be like, hey, look, there are, uh, looks like there's 15 red and, and out of 52 marbles, plus another 8 white out of 52. The answer must be, because I'm adding the likelihood of the red and the likelihood of the white in simple probability, it must be 15 plus 8, or 23 over 52. And, and you know, we would just be happy really happy with the answer E. So the thing with that is I didn't, I didn't account for the fact that she'd already taken out that marble. So I want you to not miss that. And what that's going to do is that's going to get us a new total of 51 marbles. Out of that total, there's a likelihood that there's a, a 14 out of 51 that it could be red or 8 out of 51. And since it's simple probability, since, since it's either going to be the red or the white, I add those the likelihood of both of those events happening, and I get an answer of 22 50 once. The answer is E. Okay, the problem's getting a little harder because you have to read the, the problem very carefully, not miss those extra details. All right, team, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Have a wonderful day. Take care.